Hello, everybody. So, um, I just go outside and um, kind of water my uh, garden because it's super hot today. And um, I discovered something that's pretty cool. So, I just want to do an uh, update on my uh, Russian pomegranate tree that I uh, got, I think, last summer. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, the story go was uh, I did a update on my Russian pomegranate tree beginning of the spring and um, when the tree was sprouting with younger leaves tiny little leaves but then uh, when it come to that uh, May uh, frost day we have a few weeks of cold day in April and May uh, it end up killing all the young leaves from the Russian pomegranate so I was pretty uh, upset and sad Skylar um, sorry about that but anyway um, so I was kind of like pretty sad and upset because I feel like my tree is going to die uh, from the frost now it's like just dry stick is sticking up on the ground and there's nothing no sign of uh, re-sprout or nothing like that but um, I say about towards the end of May I started to see some sprout and um, I was so happy got excited and I was like uh, I don't know if it's gonna flower or fruit this year so I was kind of like a little upset but at least my uh, Russian pomegranate tree it survived so I was pretty happy about it I tried to water it more and try to nurse this back and um, today it came out was pretty happy uh, everything's growing very nice but then I discovered something crazy um, I'm gonna show you guys right now really really crazy my son is right here so I don't know if I if I should focus on it or point my finger at it because if I do I'll end up killing it later because he's uh, he loves gardening he loves to pick the leaves off pull the fruits off the tree he does it all the time. But before I show you uh, the flower that is coming out, I just want to actually you can see the flower from here. If you guys can see, I will zoom in right here as much as I can. You see it uh, right there, the red spot. I'm going to get a closer shot when my son's not near me. But anyway, as you can see, uh, some of the branch right there, it's kind of died out, but uh, all the small branches is still survive and uh, the new shoot came out. So it's growing pretty strong and healthy. This one is actually not as healthy as this one over here. I'm going to show you guys right now. So this one over here, it seems so much healthier, grown much stronger. Uh, huh, it's kind of weird that so much. This branch is all droopy. I don't know why if this branch is dying. It's kind of weird. I mean, some of the branch coming out like strong like these one, and all of a sudden it's get droopy and it's die out. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, this one seems growing stronger and healthier. Uh, I do not know that was gonna flower because I remember this one when I bought it. It uh, didn't have any flower on it. So definitely that it didn't have any flower when I got it. So hopefully, maybe in a couple years, maybe next year, I don't know, or maybe later. But it's growing pretty strong. This one over here, on the other hand, it actually have uh, has flower, and um, I have like two. And of course, uh, when I bought it, it was in the pot, so I put them down and the flower will get dried up and fall off. But right now, I've discovered the one flower, I'm pretty happy. As you can see, it's beautiful, right? My son is coming and I gotta zoom out. But anyway, uh, just a quick update on my uh, Russian pomegranate and uh, it's doing wonderful. Uh, nothing crazy it's uh, awesome 
anyway, uh, I'm pretty excited. It's like uh, 80 something degree outside. So I got to come out and, you know, get some water going on. I definitely uh, try to update my uh, garden as much as I can for you guys. So, uh, uh, I remember there was a question that um, what I use, uh, what kind of fertilizer I use for my uh, Russian pomegranate. Uh, I pretty much don't use anything, but lately I've been giving them uh, the organic fish uh, fertilizer. I got it from I think the company Alaska or something. It's um, I think they get all those uh, fish gut and bones and stuff. And they kind of like, grind that out and then just put it in the things and just sell it to us. I'm not sure how they do it, but uh, I use that for almost uh, all my trees and plants around. It's organic. Uh, so far it's doing great and uh, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, so that's it. That's it on my uh, Russian pomegranate. Just a quick update. Nothing crazy. If you got any question, just let me know. But so far it's doing great and uh, hopefully I get some fruit. I don't care if it's big or eatable as long as it have some fruit this year. That's mean, um, that's mean I'm definitely gonna have some fruit in the future. So I'm gonna give it like three years or four. I'll give it three more years. And I try to push it to have fruit. But uh, I'll see what's going on later. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching my channels. Please continue supporting my channel by subscribing to my channel. Uh, share my videos. And uh, thank you so much for all your support. Uh, I will see you guys next video.